Hello everybody, Cyanusk111 here, and welcome back to more Civilization VI as Julius Caesar. I have just been able to move my fighter unit over from this hangar right here down near Rome over to Madrid, and maybe over to this hangar if I am able to do it, but we have another turn to go through. I'm strongly considering declaring war on Macedonia, so I can try to see how far I can go into its territory. If I could go as far as into Pella, then I'll be satisfied. Though it will definitely come at the cost of Macedonia not liking me even more than they already do. I'm still a little concerned about there being an entire mountain range blocking me from entering Macedonia's territory, but I think I might as well go ahead and declare war on Alexander as soon as I have the opportunity to. Namely, a war of territorial expansion, since that's pretty much the only... Casus belly, I satisfy the prerequisites for. If there are more, then I'm going to be surprised. Probably. The tech boost for lasers has successfully been stolen. That's nice to know. Let me go ahead and declare my war real quick. Yep. Declare War of Territorial Expansion. Give me them 75 grievances all you want to. Here we go. Peace was never all that much of an interest to you anyway. I get it. You like when other nations are at war. Well, that turns out to be one area blocked. Okay, so... Why can't I rebase my biplane unit here? Well, guess what? Turns out there's a whole other city besides Pidna blocking my way towards Pella. I think what I should do is go after it first. I think I'm going to have Kylinus go towards Pella and see what he can do there. A lot of things, it turns out. It shouldn't be that long to travel. So, I'm sure this is going to go very well. Provided that I have gained sources beforehand. There's my next modern armor army unit. Okay. I say it's make or break time. Still a hell of a lot of repairing to do in my own territory. Including the city of Madrid. Oh, the aerodrome needs repairing. So that's why I couldn't land my biplanes there. Or fighters, actually. Okay. I'm going to have to maintain my relations with Cahokia. Uh, 
that's the way. There's a gold resource right here that I should probably consider getting. I'm consuming five coal per turn for power. Yeah, I should definitely consider getting some more resources per turn. Strategic ones, namely. All those ones listed up there. Especially oil. Look at those Macedonians with their solar power. Kinda makes me wish I had some. Uh, I could definitely use the gold right now, so why not? Thank you so much, Portugal. And speaking of gold, I have 12 available trade routes of the two, of the 14 capacity that I have, so maybe I should definitely start making the most out of that, too. If at all possible. So yeah. Rebase is definitely in operation for my fighter jets. Okay, I think I should actually let my artillery unit in first since Toledo has city walls. be the wiser thing to do. With me getting ready to overwhelm the enemy, and the city of Toledo itself being able to do one ranged strike, and a possible second from an encampment, provided it has one, I don't think there are any more tech boosts to steal. I'm pretty tempted to cause some chaos in the city of Zaragoza right now, but I've got other fish to fry. Macedonian fish, that is. And I think I will... Do I have a neighborhood district? Yes, they do. I think that's where I'm gonna send both of my spies. With them being of the elite variety, how can Alexander suspect a, suspect a thing, quite frankly? I don't think there are going to be any objections from anyone living in Pydna, but provided that there are, I may want to go ahead and conquer that city too to be on the safe side of things. A people without the cultural heritage is done. I'll 
go ahead and get my fighter units out. I'll have him do air attacks on Toledo. Gotta get me some science from that spaceport so I can boost nuclear fusion a little bit more. Cold War ready. Nuclear fission is going to help boost Cold War nicely. I'll get a zoo down here for some bonus amenities. I'll try for an envoy shift. I don't think Mexico City... Wherever it is, is going to be a threat. But I'll show Macedonia that... That politics can be a bit of a battle, too. piece of land is going to be on the verge of being submerged. Oh, my artillery army is hanging on by a thread. I'm not really in a poised position to do a joint war against Jai Varman right now. I've got a capital to work my way towards. If I pillage, then it would yield 405 gold. But I think the damaged wall will make for some... will make for some increased attacking from my other units. Oh shoot, they got an encampment right here, so that means they are going to no doubt use it to go after my helicopter. Okay, so now this city center has a choice between my helicopter and the artillery army. They're both at pretty low health right now, so... Just this one city strike on whichever should finish them off. Uh oh. Oh, I don't think that's anything my modern army, my modern armor army unit can't handle. Ah, uh, they didn't get it, but at least they do get a promotion. Okay, that did it for them. First offensive... First victorious offensive against an enemy unit. All this time. 
and the great general hasn't won a single offense. I think it would be wise if I had my great general here. I think that... I think that the historic moment may have alerted me pretty sufficiently in... in letting me know that my great general isn't where it needs to be. So, thank you so much, game. I really appreciate you looking out for me. Uh, there goes my artillery unit. My artillery army over here still needs to heal up. And urgently. I think I may not have been able to do so because of how lacking I was in oil. This is gonna result in a major defeat. I'm not too sure about how prepared I am to invade Toledo. I'm sure I'm trying my best, though. Helicopter can actually get a promotion, but I'm not sure if it will happen. So many units surrounding Toledo. Get a neighborhood down here. I'll probably build a shopping mall district once it's completed. get another Cahokia mound in the meantime for more gold. Is there any army unit? No, it doesn't appear that I can produce an army unit with gold at this time. Maybe with faith? It's gonna require more oil. And that is something I'm low on, sadly. I think my helicopter is going to go down. Uh, oh, it is hanging in there by a thread. I honestly thought it was going to go down. So it looks like promotion time as soon as I am ready for my turn to start. Now, leave the atom alone. 
Okay, nuclear fusion's complete, Cold War's boosted. And the question for when I capture Toledo is... Does that encampment belong to Toledo or Bidna? I'm gonna be very concerned if it belonged to Bidna. I can actually promote my fighter. I'll do dog fighting. I honestly didn't remember aircraft units having promotion classes. Well, learn something new every day. I take it. I think I'll have my artillery army fortify itself one more time. Fortify and heal one more time before I have it go into battle. It's time to get some more science while I'm thinking about it. Spain's declaring their friendship with Germany, and that could potentially be a problem since I am planning on taking Germany's capital at some point in the future. So one of my spies has arrived in Pella, ready to wreak havoc, if they're able to, that is. Helicopter unit pillage to heal. And all the units that, that have pillaged can actually attack again. Oh, my modern army unit isn't looking too good up here. I think Toledo might actually strike it down first chance they get. Okay, gain sources, obviously. That'll make life easier for my other spy, whoever it was. I'm going to go ahead and produce a bomber. Want to get some more powerful aircraft that can potentially wreak havoc on my enemies. Ah, there goes my modern army. 
my modern armor unit. Modern armor army unit. Major drought is occurring. You gotta be joking me. And... Okay, so that's my great general effect. It grants plus six loyalty per turn for the city. Something that I'm not really in a position to do right now. position to do, however, is try and go all out on on Toledo. But I'm moving my helicopter up there so it can rest and heal itself. I'm not seeing any enemies nearby, so I think it should be safe. I think I'll see if I can get some more information out of Macedon by this listening post. I'm not sure if both well, I think these two strikes might actually do this modern armor army unit in. I think I'm gonna have to swap out for this other modern armor army unit. Even though it can't really attack on this turn. Making good progress. I'd hate to see it crumble down after so long. It may be me tempting faint, but... Anything I'll do to earn me a diplomatic victory? Oh, wait. You distracted me, Philip II. How can you dare? Well, here comes trouble in the form of a mechanized infantry army. I'm gonna have to do something about that ASAP. What's worse, I've set my helicopter army up here so it can heal. fighters come in once all of the other troops are done. Like so. Let's 
something I kind of wanted to do in the meantime. Pillage this campus district for some more science. And I'm still getting faith from all the pillaging I've done. As I've seen. Oh, the mechanized infantry is actually retreating to Pella. Surprising. But the manpower there is still gonna be a challenge to get through. And wow. Montezuma still thinks I'm evil, surprisingly. Unsurprisingly, I meant. Given how much I'm wreaking havoc on all the other civs in the game. I'm a big laser believer. Okay. That's lasers researched. And Cold War is almost completed. One more turn to go for that. I'm gonna go ahead and do guidance systems. Rocket artillery is going to be a siege unit. A suitable upgrade for the artillery army I already have. I'm gonna move my helicopter army out of the way. And with that, I have reason to believe that we have conquered Toledo! Heck yeah! The unveiling of your new spaceport has energized your people to push to space. That space race boosted. But I still have one in production down there, and Toledo is getting ready to rebel. Um, I'm not sure if this would be a good idea, but I'm strongly considering... I'm, uh, gonna have to build loyalty back up as soon as possible. Rebellion in six turns. It's falling 8.8. .8. I can claim a great person in the meantime while I'm thinking about what the hell to do. It should give me some ample time to plan out my next move. And I can upgrade to Jet Fighter. Sweet! Okay. It only provides plus two appeal to any tiles it owns. Charles Correa. Or Charles Correa. Charles Correa. Sounds very identical to the country of Korea. Wow. And I think I may want to check the appeal of the land. Wow. Land up there isn't very welcoming at all, so I think I know where to use my great engineer that I've earned. And I think that is going to about do it for this part. I'm still very much concerned about loyalty in Toledo falling after I had just captured it. I'm gonna have to get to Pella as quickly as I can before Alexander wants to make a peace treaty with me. I'm gonna have to do a lot of thinking about what I want my next move to be. 
either capture Pidna or go all out on Pella sooner or later. I'll have a decision ready by the next part. But until then, thank you everyone so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!